Everything okay? I just saw you back there touching your toes. It's just checking your uh, your spine and, and, and so on? No, everything is fine. Uh, this is the first time, you, you know, uh, the first thing you check if everything is working. Um, I, I saved a couple of them, but two of them have been too hard today, so that's why I crashed twice. Was it twice? Or three times this weekend? Three times this weekend. <laughs> you see? Yes, it is. Uh, twice today, yes. Obviously, Laguna Seca three weeks ago gave you that big, big incentive to come back here and ride very, very well. We know the Honda, in general, goes around here quite fast. Yes. We've seen it in the past. Uh, but your first pole position and your first podium uh, at Laguna Seca, that had to inspire you coming into Laguna, in, here into Indy. Yeah, I mean, uh, of course it was a nice, uh, a nice weekend we had in Laguna. Um, it uh, just showed me that I was, I can, uh, I can able to, to fight with the top guys. And uh, also this weekend starts really good for, for us. We, uh, we've been in the, in, the, in the top three all the weekend so far. Unfortunately, in the qualifying, when uh, when it, the track temperature was really high, we suffered a little bit with our front because uh, I couldn't really um, s stay on the on the front time on the edge. I, I I can I could feel that I am sliding so much over the front tire, and you know when I tried to push really hard in the qualifying, I, I just uh, made a small mistake and. Uh, then I, I lost the front. It was an easy crash. Yeah, turn, four. turn four wasn't it really even a crash. One of those crazy things. It was so slow. Obviously, we didn't see the crash at first. We only saw you picking, trying to pick your bike up. And then when we saw it, it was one of those yeah. lazy, don't do this to me, <laughs> long time, then finally hit the ground. It was just a very little one, uh, which is no, no problem so far. The one I had in qualifying in turn one was a little bit faster, but... You know, I'm fine, I'm okay, so I will try to, to do my best tomorrow. I think that my pace is good. Uh, my pace is better than I, I showed in the qualifying, and uh, you know, P8 uh, is not what we expected. Definitely is a, is a disappointing uh, result, but I think that we can, do, we can catch some guys in front t tomorrow and trying to, to, to do a good result. Top five will be fine, and uh, trying to get some points. Did you have a, a, a look at the speed that you went down in turn one? No. You doesn't matter at all. I mean, no. no I, listen, to them, it would make their eyes like that. To you, it's like, ah, you know, I just went down in turn one, hit the grass, picked myself up, the bike was okay. But um, uh, it's bloody fast. I think it went around 150. So 90 miles an hour, lost the front going in there. So not too bad. No, no. Easy. See, it's, it was really funny is talking to people that have never raced or have ever been to racing and then you say to them, okay, we're doing 90 on the freeway, get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> you know, this is what we do all the time, get out. Sometimes we jump out the sunroof, which is a high side. <laughs> Other times we're hoping that we're, we can lean over a little bit. But um, uh, do you like this racetrack? I mean, obviously Laguna Seca is something very, very special. Texas, I think, was... One of the ultimate uh, for a ver first time uh, Grand Prix. Uh, tell us about the U.S. and you in, here in this country. Um, first of all, I like the, the state so much. Uh, I, I like the people here. I, I love to race here because it's uh, it, we get the great support. Everybody doesn't doesn't matter which nationality you are. They support just everybody, and it's a great feeling for us. And um, you know, Indy is is a nice track. Unfortunately, I don't need to tell you, but uh, the surface is, is really old and bumpy, so it would be nice to get a new one for next year. Um, the infield, which is never, I think they never used so far, um, it's quite dirty most of the time. This weekend is not so bad, but you know, the, the track is really bumpy and uh, the surface is not as good as, as you know, as standard, I would say. But anyway, the layout is nice. I, I like to, to race here. You know, for everybody, it's the same problem. So um, I was able to go fast here in Indy so far, and uh, that will be the target for tomorrow, just to to overtake some people in front of me and to finish the race, and then we will see which uh, result we can get. I have to ask you, obviously, first four or five races, things were not clicking. In your in your riding and or team or whatever, now all of a sudden, it's not only clicking. You're 
you're heading? Do you like the rabbit out of the gate, ready to go? Yeah, um, the last couple of races was a great step for us. We 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 went in the right direction. We just did a couple of good uh, changes in the bike. We I got you know got more confidence with it. We step by step coming closer to the front, and the last couple of races have shown that we our potential is good and we we can race with the guys in front so you know it was just a combination of many things which didn't work out in the beginning of the season but finally I think that we we've done a great job with the team together we put ourselves in a good position and uh, yeah we've shown we've shown that the LCR team can be can be fighting for the podium and so far I hope that strong performance we can keep and trying to go to back to Europe to the next races. I think you brought a lot of smiles to Japanese as well, Honda, to finally uh, realize how much support they've been given with Uchio, Lucio, with the team, with yourself for over the years, that it is finally paying off. Are you able to use any data or to be able to look at anything from the Repsol garage? Not directly, you know. They are, you know, the Japanese people, they trying to, you know, keep everything for themselves, but um, if we have some issues, if we have some problem, we, uh, we, they help us, of course, so, some, uh, so we can so share, share sometimes the data with Mark and Danny, so definitely they support us in the best way they can. Three races to go in terms of this next series. Uh, Bruno is, well, I don't think these people realize how much we, we travel and fly once the season gets going. And it's pretty much going to be lightning speed to the end of it. Um, but we've got Bruno, do you like that track? And obviously Silverstone that are coming up back to back. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to, uh, to Bruno because it's just a perfect racetrack for motorbikes. And um, uh, yeah, then Silverstone directly, you know, it's bang, bang, bang. You know, you have to be careful, don't hurt yourself. Injury, it's, it's really dangerous. And, um, you know, I, I'm trying to 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 take it as a as another step to make you know if you have a good um, if you have a good run like I do uh, at the moment so trying to keep it and trying to even improve it so we will see but definitely you need you don't have to make a mistake unfortunately I did too I was lucky I didn't hurt myself so um, I'm happy about that but trying to keep concentrated you'll be fine tomorrow I know you you'll be, you'll be fine you'll be there. And uh, the race pace and everything, like you said, is good. We wish you the best of luck, obviously. We thank you very much from Parts Here, Parts Here Unlimited, to all of the people that are here for us as this guest. Can you share a little time and sign a couple posters? And a lot of kids are here for, to see it. The little kids are about this tall, though. Okay. okay. So thank you very much, Stefan, and, and good, good luck. So whoever wants some, some pictures here, maybe you can...